whatever it is that you came out of and now you in the phase when you feeling anxiety you feeling depression you feeling pressure you feeling like this this weight is too heavy ain't no and everybody you call the only thing they can say is mm-hmm yeah yeah but you yeah, and they don't have the advice they don't have the words. They don't know how to encourage you. Listen to me, you got to get in your closet. You got to get in your corner. You got to get in your word because I'm gonna tell you something. It ain't gonna be nobody that you can call. Quit expecting to be able to call somebody and get advice from people who don't wanna see you ahead of them. They either want you to be their equal or stay beneath them. Quit expecting to get encouragement from people who don't want to, to, to build you up because they either want you to be below them or, or, or they Equal. They don't know, want you ahead of them. Quit expecting these people to come and tell you how to be financially literate in order for you to continue to run your business and take care of what it is that you need to take care of so you can become who it is the most high calls you to be. Because they know with that information, it causes you to come from here to here to here. Because I'm gonna tell you something about a grinder. I'm gonna tell you something, I'm gonna tell you about somebody who trusts the king. I'm gonna tell you somebody that, 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 that's got a certain level of faith and something that's working in them that a lot of people, it's not on you, it's in you. And because of what you look like right now, they understand that that grit that you got in you is going is what's going to allow you to exceed them. And see, it was a lot of people when I first came home, they was up. And, and this ain't a knock to nobody. This is just, I want to encourage somebody. It was a lot of people right here. I had a cousin when I was, I was doing music and I remember selling him a CD. He done music. This man had on probably twenty thirty thousand dollars worth of jewelry. He had a, he had a nice little car. I I had just done 10 years in prison. I hadn't been home for six months. This man bought a CD from me that cost $5. And then he said to me, I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, we're looking at each other. And he said, you got the gift. He said, you got the talent. He said, you can do music. He said, but you ain't got the money, cuz. Them was his exact words, I'll never forget it. I'm looking at the same person who told me what he saw in me, what I was capable of doing, who had the finances to help me get there, and the only thing he wanted to tell me is, I'm cool with you being here, I'm cool with you being here, but what I ain't gonna do is give you the information, I ain't gonna give you the money, I ain't gonna give you the encouragement, I ain't gonna give you nothing to go, to go right here. I ain't gonna get that. And see, it's a lot of people who surround about people and don't even realize that's why they have not encouraged you. That's, how, that's why they have not supported you. That's why they ain't called and checked on you. That's why they ain't done. And, and, and get what? It's not gonna happen. It's, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to get on your knees. You're gonna have to get in your closet. You're gonna have to be you gonna have to be talking to him, but because I promise you, it's some people out here right now who wanna take the credit from him and say that it was them that helped you get where it is you're going. They wanna take the credit and say you they, they the reason you got the bag. That I heard ET the hip hop preacher say this one time. He said the most high told him that he'll never sit down and do an interview on nobody's couch. He said, because most high told him the minute you sit down on the Oprah Winfrey couch or this person couch or that person couch, them folks is going to say that they are the reason that you are successful. It's a lot of people right now who ready to say, oh, I, I remember having that conversation and I told her to such and such, such and such, and she did it. And then, wait a minute, wait a minute. I talked about this plan for years. I planned this for years. I invested my money for years. I took losses for years. I had mistake after mistake after mistake, lesson after lesson after lesson. You gave me one, we had one conversation and you want to say you the reason that I, that, that that it started working, that is insane that people want to do that. It's people that I know right now to this day, listen to me, who want to say, oh, I remember I told him that he should get to such and such and he should do, and he did it. I've been thought about it. I just didn't want, it, it, it just kills me when people, have you ever, you, you, you had the plan, you had the idea, you knew how you wanted to do it, and just so happened, somebody else could see it on you too. Somebody else can see it. I'm going to tell you something, when, when you start, when things start manifesting in this world, it's a say those things that are not as though they are. When you start speaking them things into the earth, let me tell you something about that enemy. That enemy, other people are seeing it in you too and just so happen through confirmation because their spirit ain't in the right place. Listen to me. Through confirmation, them folks will say something that you were already feeling and you were already thought of it. A lot of us don't say, you know what, I thought of it. Even if we say, yeah, I thought of that. When you go and do it, them folks still want to take the credit for it. That, that, that's how crafty the enemy is. The enemy is that crafty. The, it came for confirmation. The enemy tried to take it and steal it and say, I gave you the idea. No, you didn't.